This is a demonstration for the 3D Kitchen design software showing the automated link between design and CNC nesting. So we're going to open a job to produce and I'll just select the job we've created called CNC Demo. It's a relatively large job so we'll just show you it in 3D and you can see there's a number of cabinets here. The construction type is mortise and tenon and this can be switched on or off and it's also a finger pull type construction for the base doors and drawer units. So the drawer units, for example, will be creating notches in the cabinet ends. So the anything in design can be adjusted. So if we want to change a drawer, for example, we right click on the drawer, we click on the drawer function and I'll change the drawer heights in this particular unit. So I'll set the top drawer to 150 mil. And when I apply it, it automatically places the balance into the bottom drawer. So this changes the drilling positions on the cabinet ends, and it also changes the notches, notch positions. Now, anything can be adjusted in design, and whatever you change is automatically translated through for production. So your CNC codes are automatically generated, no matter what you do in design. So to produce the job, we click on the export button, export it out to the production module. We open the production module, and we have two options, two main options. One is direct to CNC. So this lets the job produce directly out to CNC without any adjustments being made. So if you don't need to make adjustments to components, that's the one you use. The other option is direct to reports. Now this lets you stop and make adjustments, manual adjustments to panels, add, add in components that are not there and change drillings, uh, add and remove drillings, shift drilling points, add in cutouts that aren't there and so on. So the first option we're going to choose is direct to CNC. So this is an automated procedure straight through to CNC. So it produces all the files ready to run the job to your CNC machine. And it takes anywhere between perhaps one to five minutes, depending on the size of the job and on the processing speed of your computer. So we open up the module that produces straight to the CNC and load that job that's just been produced. So we're going to select the CNC demo job and I'm going to produce all materials at once and click process to 3D kitchen, process 3D kitchen. Now this produces all output ready for your CNC and including labels to show you how to uh, assemble the units it makes it fast to assemble if you're using labels the labels also include edging detail to show you which edges of the panel are to be edged <coughs> it's a fairly quick process and all the sheets will be displayed on the screen to show you what is going to be produced it gives you a list of what's been produced and we can just say OK to that. And you can click the drop down arrow and see the total number of sheets. So there's the carcass material, and then below that is the coloured material, it shows you the exact number of sheets that's going to be produced. We can also cycle through the sheets one by one by clicking the little up arrow here, and it just takes you through each sheet and shows you how it's being produced. The triangle shows you the uh, edges that are to be taped. It just goes through another couple of sheets till we can get to where the finger pull units can be shown. So we'll see, uh, so you can see the notches appearing here. Um, and we'll just go to a draw unit. And so we can see here the, the notches being produced. And also you can see the mortise and tenon grooves being cut. And again, the mortise and tenon can be turned off if you don't want to use it. 
So it's a very simple operation straight from design through to CNC. Uh, so we're going to do one more. This time we're going to produce it to the reports menu where we can stop and make modifications. So the process is basically the same. So it produces the all the output data ready for the CNC, but stops so that we can make manual adjustments. Again, it just takes a few minutes to produce. So we say OK now, and then we click through to the reports menu. Send the job out to the 3D toolpath link. So this produces a, a standard job still at this point, but it then stops at the toolpath uh, screen, and we will make a couple of changes here. So we'll just select the first cabinet, which is just an appliance garage. I'll click on the back of the cabinet and add a couple of cuts. So we'll display what it is at the moment. So here's its standard uh, appearance. So with the drill points for attaching it over all the cabinet. So what we'll do is add a square to the to the back, square cutout. We'll just call it cut one. The reference point for the square. I'll select the top left and the width of the cut. We'll just set a value for its width and a value for its height. The depth, we'll use the value B for a full depth cut, which represents the thickness of your carcass material. No matter what that is, it could be 16, 18, it doesn't matter. B represents the thickness of the material. The offset from the top left in the width direction, I'll set a value and then how far down from the top of the panel. And we'll display it to show you the cutout that's been produced. Just for the sake of making it clearer, we will add another cut. And again, position it to the top left. We'll give the cut a width and a height. Make it the same depth, full depth cut. And we'll do the offset from the left. And then the offset from the top. And again, we can just click the display sheet function to see what we've produced. So we've just done two simple extra cutouts. They can be placed anywhere you like. So you can add or remove drill points. Um, uh, any boring you want to produce. Uh, parametric routes, fixed routes, circles and notches. And they can be placed anywhere you like. So we just export that out now. And it'll be ready to be picked up by the CNC production software. Again, it just takes a couple of minutes to produce. We open up the CNC production. Click on the 3D Kitchen tab. Remove the previous job. Add back the job that's now been replaced with the new job. And again, it'll produce all the components required very quickly. Now this job is identical to the first job, except that it's got a couple of cutouts produced in the back of the appliance garage. So we'll just cycle through and find that so you can see the cutouts produced. OK, so there they are. And you can see they've automatically been generated as internal female internal cuts, full depth cuts. So you can see that it's a very simple operation to go from 3D design through to production in CNC with just a few clicks of your mouse button. So the operation is simple. So again, we just have another quick look at the job that we've just created. And you can see from design to production is a really effortless job.